Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. So indeed, the 2023 Prius Prime is coming to stateside. Um, and Toyota recently updated their website to reflect that. The disappointing thing is that the starting MSRP is 20, uh, 32350 So I was saying in my previous video, if it comes in at under 30000 it'll be probably a screaming deal. At 32350 mm, I don't know how compelling that is. But uh, most of the uh, projections from the Japanese website coming over here turned out to be mostly true. So if you look at the specs here, let's look at them, look at them over. Uh, sorry, I'm going to scroll up. Okay, so here we are. SE, XSE, and XSE Premium, they both have the same drivetrain, but the efficiency is somehow different. I think it has to do with the tires that are on them. Um, the, the bigger, the lower profile tires reduce the efficiency. So you get 53 miles combined, uh, 52 miles combined on the SC and 48 on the higher level trims. And then the all electric range is 44 miles, which is really good. Um, that is more than the average American drives. And, and this is about the amount of miles of solar range that, the uh, Aptera could get in optimal conditions as well. The uh, EMPG is 127 or 114, and then here's the price. And then if you look at this, there's that solar charging roof right here. And if you look in the build, uh, build let's see, it's kind of funny. If you pick this, which is the only one that you can get the um, solar roof on, you will see how much the solar roof card. So they're charging $610 for a 185 watt solar roof that gives you uh, two, maybe three miles of range at optimal conditions per day. I, I'm not sure that that is, a, uh, that is a great return on investment. And I'm not sure how much sense um, a solar charging roof that gives you two, three miles at, under optimal conditions really makes. I think it's more gimmicky than anything else. And then look at this. For $200 more, you get a digital rear view mirror. Now, digital rear view mirror is the thing that comes standard on the Aptera. Um, and so a lot of car companies have realized that a digital rear view mirror is superior to an optical rear view mirror because it gets rid of the, like, internal contents and passengers getting in the way and you just get a wider clearer field of view with it so it is a upgrade so that they're offering that for another two hundred dollars but that comes standard on the Aptera and other than that um, you know it is a great looking car I mean it looks it looks really good now surprisingly this looks very slippery but the coefficient of drag is 0.27, which is worse than the previous fourth generation Prius, which was 0.25, which are both worse than the Model 3, which is 0.23, uh, and which is way worse than the Aptera, which is 0.13. Um, so I think if they would have made the tail long, like if you like rev drove this car in reverse, it's probably more aerodynamic. Yeah, if you if you if you drive it this way, they probably did this to give the back seat more headroom, um, and supposedly a five eleven guy can kind of is kind of the upper limit of of who will fit in the back seat of this Prius Prime. But as a practical car, you know this has a forty four mile electric range, and um, it uh, that that checks the boxes for most Americans for their daily driving. And it does this with about 13.6 kilowatt hours of battery, which means that you can build about eight of these things for the same uh, amount of batteries as in a 100 kilowatt uh, hour electric vehicle. And arguably, this does much more for the environment. So eight of these would do much more for the environment than one pure EV with a large battery. So in, in from that perspective, this is a, this is a great thing. However... Um, Plug-in hybrids kind of have the disadvantages of both. Like you have to, um, you still have to do all the maintenance of the gas vehicle. Now I currently have a plug-in hybrid. It's a Honda Clarity. Um, it's a sort of a weird-looking car, but uh, 
I mean, we've been happy with it. it ha that one also has about 45 miles of electric range, and we rarely, rarely have to uh, fill that car up. So I think this would be very similar. Um, this just happens to cost more and um, definitely looks better. I think that uh, if it was under 30,000, I would strongly consider it. Um, it's a very practical car, you know, five passengers, good cargo space, um, and uh, also has that cool inverter, the 1500 watt inverter uh, that you can plug in things into. Also, as we know, uh, Aptera is using Kama AI and OpenPilot, and if you look at this list of uh, supported vehicles, you'll see that Prius Primes right here have been consistently um, compatible with open pilot since 2017 so it, it's very likely that the 2023 uh, Prius Prime will also be compatible with open pilot if that's something that's important to you um, looks like that's a pretty good bet I looked into um, installing open pilot on my car and it looks like it's uh, it's kind of you have to hack it a bit and I'm not sure that it's worth the hassle for me but I was very interested in it I, I still might do it and if I do I'll let you guys know um, overall I think it's the efficiency is great. 52 miles per gallon just on gas is great. 44 mile electric range is, is awesome. Um, looks good. It's very practical. Pricing is a little higher than uh, optimal, but I think this is going to sell well anyway. Um, I suspect that uh, people are going to pay over MSRP for this thing because dealerships are going to um, price gouge as they have been getting used to the last couple of years. And... Um, and some people are going to be willing to pay for it, and there's not going to, there's going to be more demand than there is cars. So I suspect that even with that pricing, Toyota is going to sell um, as many as they make because they don't plan on making that many, which is a little unfortunate. I wish they would plan to make more and um, drop the price a couple of thousand, and then I think we would see a lot more of these, and that would be overall a good thing. All right, well, tell me what you guys think about the Prius Prime now that it's uh, totally out. Um, you know, it may be the thing to get if you need a car until the Aptera comes out because Aptera is probably not coming out until 2025, um, given the funding situation. Um, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, 2024 early, um, if, if everything goes perfectly from here on out, but realistically it might be late 2024 to 2025. So if you need a car real soon, uh, Aptera is not going to be there for you. In the, within the next year. That's pretty clear. Okay. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.